Good morning, today's lesson is 2.6. Today we're gonna to be multiplying using the expanded form. Our essential question, how can you use expanded form to multiply a multi-digit number by a one-digit number? Example one, so we're gonna use expanded form. So we're gonna multiply five times 143. So here I have my five, and then I'm gonna write the expanded form for 143. So in my hundreds I have 100 plus 40 plus three. We did expanded form before, mm, chapter one. So now I'm gonna first multiply the, the five t times 100, then the five times 40, and then the five times three, okay? So this is using the distributive model. So I'm gonna use this distributive model. So I did five times 100, which is right here, and then five times 40, which is right there, and then five times five, which is right there. So if I draw the boxes like I did yesterday, I could do five times 100, so five times 100, and then five times 40, and then five times three in this box. So first we're gonna multiply five times 100, and we're gonna get, I'm gonna shade it in a little bit, I'm gonna shade it in blue. So when I multiply five times 100, I get 500. Because remember, five times one is five, and then I have my two zeros, just like we did in the earlier lesson. So this box is worth 500. So 500, now we have 500 plus five times 40, plus five times three. So in step two, we're gonna do this box right here. So this box is five times 40, and five times four is 20, plus my zero, right? Okay, so this is, now we have 500, plus 20, and now we have the five times three. So on my next step, I'm gonna do the five times the three. So now I have the five times the three, and five times three is 15. So I have 15. So now I've got 500 plus 200 plus 15. Okay, so in the first one, we did five times 100. This side was 500. Then we did 40 times five, and this was 200. Then we have five times three, and this is 15, so these are my partial products. 500, 215. So if I add these partial products, I'm gonna get what the amount is five times 143. So five plus zero plus zero is five. One plus zero plus zero is one. Five plus two is seven, so the answer is 715. All right, example number two. We're gonna continue to use expanded form. So the gift shop at the animal park orders three boxes of toy animals. Each box has 1,250 toy animals. How many toy animals does the shop order? So we're gonna be multiplying three times 1,250. So we're gonna have our three times 1,250. So we're going to keep the three, obviously, but we're gonna write 1,250 in expanded form. So that's gonna be 1,000 plus 200, right, plus 50. There's nothing in the one spot because it's zero. So that means that I'm gonna use distributive property, so I'm gonna multiply three times 1,000, three times 200, and then three times 50. So three times 1,000, three times 200, and then three times 50. So when I do that, I get um, three times one is three, and then how many zeros do I have after? Remember one, two, three, following my pattern. And then I have three times 200, so three times two is six, and then I have two zeros, one, two, Three times five is 15, and following that pattern that we did a few lessons ago, I'm gonna have a zero, so it's 150. Now I need to add up all my partial products, so make sure you line them up. 3,000 plus 600 plus 150, so make sure you line up your ones, then your tens, then your hundreds, and then your thousands. So now I have zero plus zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero plus five is five, six plus one is seven, and then three plus nothing is three. So the answer is that the shop ordered 3,750 animals. Okay, so next I'm gonna find four times 213. So I'm gonna multiply my four times 213. So my four is gonna go here, and then I'm gonna break 213 down into expanded form. So in my 100 spot, I have a two, so that's gonna be 200. In my 10 spot, I have a one, so that's gonna be 10. And in my one spot, I have a three. So now I'm gonna multiply four times 200, four times 10, four times three, okay? Same thing, four times 200, then four times 10, then four times three, right? So four times 200, okay? And then I've got um, 
The next one is 4 times 10, so 4 times 10. And then the next one is 4 times 3. And if I were to color code that, I could actually, here, let me erase this. So in this orangey box, 4 times 200. And then the next box is my blue, which is 4 times 10. And then my last box is my green, which is 4 times 3, right? So this is my green. So when we do this, we get 4 times 2. Um, 4 times 2 is 8. And then I have two zeros afterwards, so that's going to be 800. So in this box, it's 800. And then in the next one, I've got 4 times 10. Well, 4 times 10, 4 times 1 is 4. Add my zero is 40 because um, I'm doing my place value. And then finally in the green, I have 4 times 3, and 4 times 3 is 12. So in this box, it's 12, and in this box, it's 40. Then I'm going to add up all my partial products. So I'm going to add up my 800 plus my 40 plus my 12. Okay, and then when I add them all up, I get 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 1 is 5. 8 plus nothing is 8, so my answer is 852 is the answer to that one. All right, so let's record the product, and we're going to use expanded form to help. So we've got 4 times 59. So if I, if I break apart 59, 59 is 50 plus 9 in expanded form. And then that's going to be times 4, and I'm going to be doing the distributive property. So 4 times 50, and then 4 times 9. Well, 4 times 5 is 20, plus the 0 is going to make that 200, and then 9 times 4 is 36. So then I'm going to add my two partial products together, so I get 200 plus 36. Make sure you line up your 1's places. 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 0 is 3, and then 2 plus nothing is 2. So the answer is going to be 236. All right, so now I've got 3 times 288, so if I write that in expanded form, 288 is 200 plus, in my next base value, I have 8, so 80. And then in my 1s, I have 8. And then again, that's times 3. So we're going to have 3, um, sorry, 3 times 200, and then 3 times 80, and then 3 times 8. Um, and again, you can even do it in the box like this if that makes it easier for you. So this is 3, this is 200, this is 80, and this is 8. So this is 3 times 2, 80 times 3, 8 times 3. You can do it either way, whatever makes it work for you. So this first one, 3 times um, 200, 3 times 2 is 6, and then I have my two zeros. And then the next one is eight, 80 times 3. Well, 3 times 8 is 24, plus my one zero. And then 8 times 3 is going to be the 24. So now I'm going to take my partial products. These are my partial products. And I'm going to add them up. So 600 plus 240 plus 24. Which I'll get rid of that plus. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So the answer is 864. Okay, I'm going to ask that you do these four on your own. You can use the, um, if it's easier for you to draw it this way, that's fine. But you're going to use expanded form to help you. However, it, it makes it easy to help you, okay? Um, I am going to be on the carpet if you need me. Once you finish these four problems, I want you to do the problems that are on Think Central. All right, good luck.